Paradise Killer. Hello friends, this is Self-Critical Automaton, sleep mode engaged for power conservation, and it is time for episode 36 of my Let's Play of Paradise Killer. And so today, I'm just here admiring this shrubbery, taking in the pleasant weight and cool feel of the marble, smelling the gentle petrichor of the, of the soil beneath these remarkably well-kept lilies, and I'm sure there was something I was going to do, and oh right, I have to talk to God today. Crying grudge. Uh, cool, I don't know how to pronounce that. Although it's a neat de neat detail that I believe that is the writing system used in the ancient Middle East, uh, cuneiform, I think, which is written using the corners of a small wooden tool. Translation, why am I plagued by insects? Translation, you don't seem particularly phased by meeting a god. Well, I mean, it's obviously obvious what he means by insects. That's a ridiculous thing to be confused about. He's calling you an insect, love, because you're small and insignificant as compared to his roughly four times your height magnitude. I'm having a strange day. This isn't the weirdest thing I've done. Translation, too many of you have come to see me these last few years. Exploiting my weakened state. Who? Oh. Translation. Your mad king. Obsessed little shit. Translation. The masked man. A sneaky one, that one. Translation. The woman that builds. She's pure in her goals. I admire her. Translation. And now you. Who are you? I'm the investigator. Translation. What are you investigating? Last night someone murdered the council. Translation. Ha 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 Translation. The Mad King is dead? Why do you refer to Montserrat as mad? Translation. He believed he was more than he was. Anyone like that is mad. He doubled down on his madness, though. His plans for the next island. The arrogance. Who was the masked man that came to see you? Well, gee, I wonder if it was anyone other than witness to the end. Translation. Are all of you like him? Why live like that? Translation. You need to find why he took my flesh from me. Do you have a name? Translation. The one that oversees the end of an island. I have met him before. He came to me recently. Witness? What did he want? Translation. My flesh. Why? Translation. The key to a lock. Same as the woman. You called her a builder. Do you mean architect Carmelina? Translation. She is more creative. She had a better plan. What plan are you talking about? Translation. The flesh was fused with another. My body lives elsewhere on this island. Anyone else stop by to tear a strip off? Translation. When the Mad King was not so mad, he used my flesh to make the lock. He wore it on a pendant. No one can open the lock without him. What lock? Well, presumably one of the seals. Translation. The Mad King's fourth holy seal. You need my flesh to pass through it. What do you know about someone possessed by a demon? Translation. I can feel him out there. The anger emanating is like a smog. Did he get some of your flesh? Translation. He did not come here, but who can say? Translation. Leave me. I'm bored of you. Oh. Interesting. Was there any doubt that there was going to be any... any question about whether or not all of the seals would be breached? I wonder if each of them breached one of the seals in sequence. 
That was one of my theories previously, that this was some kind of ridiculous cavalcade of failure. Perhaps if I try and talk to him again, will he just... Translation. I said leave me. Okay, fair enough. I like the... I like the yellow nail polish. That's a good colour for him. But yeah, so... We now have direct evidence that... Um, wait, hang on. Did he give me some of the flesh or not? Because that would imply that I can't pass the seal, right? Without without obtaining some from somewhere. So I guess I can go bother Carmelina about it and demand that she give it to me. Uh, oh, hey. What's he got to tell me now? Maybe this, uh, maybe this is time for a, uh, you know, what the, what the film bros call a super cut. So, ready, set, here we go. What do you know about the fourth holy seal? Not a thing, love dies. Council secrets and all that. Well, that wasn't very helpful. Got a sec, Doc. Back for more real talk. I suppose eventually they will run out of hangouts, is. Hit me. Nothing lasts forever except for the certainty of change. Quoting philosophy now. Please, some song on a skate punk compilation. You were into trip hop last time I was on an island. I like to mix it up, keep it fresh. One of the citizens we abducted from the real world had it with him. What other phases have I missed? Got big into math core for a while. I was drinking a lot of coffee. And Mexican hip hop. If everything was wrong with these islands, we at least have a lot of different people here. But punk is this island's flavour? Hopefully we'll abduct someone with some more CDs for Perfect 25. You'd think a mass of oppressed citizens would mean there was more punk music on the island. Not allowing them access to instruments or any real means of creativity probably hinders that. Why do you think there are so many murders in the apartments? Montserrat always said you can't build pyramids without slaves. We've got enough pyramids. I agree. Catch you later, Doc. May the cosmos be a mystery. And may you reach the moon. Well, I was about to blink away for the next uh, bit of the Super Cup, but um, I do think that's not what I'm going to do. All right. Well, that's uh, interesting. I had a whole bit I was going to go off with, but that's no good to me now, is it? So, like, that, that's a fairly direct reference to, to the extremely irritating fundamental aspect of, of living under capitalism, namely that uh, in a system which seeks to render you a cog in a machine solely uh, for the benefit of someone else, you are left with no time in which to pursue art. The vast majority of the people who are left with time to pursue art are the people who can be least trusted with it, i.e. Uh, the extremely wealthy people who've created and maintained the society and benefit from it. If you look at, you know, all of the... M most of the top actors in the world, many of the top painters, the top writers, all come from privilege and wealth and have had um, support while they pursued their endeavours. The idea of the, the starving artist is exists for a reason. One is that... Um, <laughs> it rehabilitates people who, who don't really necessarily deserve that benefit of the doubt. And, and the other is that if you try to pursue these, these, these passions, these important parts of humanity, which we should all be allowed to indulge, um, while being, you know, working class, say, you become impoverished because uh, you don't have... <laughs> You know, if you have to work two jobs just to make rent, you don't have any time for the art. So if you uh, live on a shoestring budget to make time for the art, then uh, you don't eat. Anyway, that's... Uh, let's move on. I guess to finish that thought, like, so, you know, the game's critiques of capitalism are very surface level. It's almost like repeating what you've heard and just slapping it on there as as part of a likely genuinely held belief, but without a kind of deeper thought and understanding about the nature of the way these things interact. I don't know, that one felt a bit more, a bit truer, a bit deeper, a bit more thought going on. Tell me about the message you sent to Aikiko telling her to leave Grace alone with Henry. I have no idea what message you're talking about, Investigator. I have a copy of it here. I'm sure that is a fabrication. 
I have no authority over Aikiko. I can't order her to do anything, much less break procedure with something so dangerous. Then why did she step out of the room and leave them unattended? I have no idea. You'd have to ask the Grand Marshal. Architect, when did your marriage with Witness end? Why are you asking? I'm working on something. I assume you'll cooperate? About nine years ago? And you wore a wedding ring? Of course. What is this about? Also, I like her, like, weird... discombobulated face she's got going on right now. Thank you for your help. Yeah, so it sure seems like she was uh, the person who killed Grace. For some reason. What do you know about the fourth Holy Seal? Nothing, Investigator. It's not my place to know. If no one knows how to get into the council building, and the next island is already built with a new council building, how will the new council get into it? A good question. If the seals on the next island cannot be breached, we will rebuild the council building. The perfect next island already sounds less than perfect. Perfection requires adaptability. We will adapt. Can not tell me what you were doing carving flesh off a god? How dare you accuse me of a vile crime like that? That is the height of heresy. Crying Grudge said it himself. No such thing happened. I think it did. Then you will need some evidence. You were accusing the leader of the syndicate of one of the worst crimes imaginable. Temporary leader. Doesn't my laptop record everything as incontrovertible, inviolable proof? Weren't we told that at the beginning? Surely my conversation with Crying Grudge will be on there. Can I ask you something, Architect? How can I help, Lady Love Dies? This island has an air of quietude. Indeed it does. There is a balance here. Where does the balance come from? Positioning of function creates form. The functions of the island are arranged as a diamond on a compass. Everything has a place only it can have. You place function over form. It is a folly to priorities form over function. Without a function, design is worthless. Okay, so I super agree with this. Uh, I'll talk about this later, but one of my biggest pet peeves in a lot of contemporary architecture, and who oh boy, I have... I grew, I grew up with a parent in my simulated AI instantiation platform uh, virtual upbringing to maintain the ruse, um, with a dad who was both a film sued <laughs> and an architect working for a world-renowned architectural firms. So I, there are reasons I am the way I am. And one of the things that he and I can't, could never agree upon was whether form was more important than function. I maintain that a building whose form fundamentally undercuts its function uh, is a bad building. He maintains that the artistry of the building is more important than whether or not the people who have to use it can easily use it for what they're supposed to be using it for. Um, so that's interesting. Anyway, so like I, I find myself unexpectedly agreeing with Carmelina, and I also find myself thinking that I think her design, like her visual design, her character design, might be my favorite of all of the characters on the island. It's got a, it's got a real classy kind of timeless, classic vibes going on. Anyway, an architect that is scared of function and tries to hide it away is a coward with narrow tastes. Surely it's more artistic to create form. An artist that doesn't respect their tools and appreciate their canvas is no artist. One must work with everything they have and understand every facet that every tool and every imperfection can bring to a piece. The circumstances you find yourself in are of course terrible, but I do hope you enjoy in The circumstances you find yourself in are of course terrible, but I do hope you enjoy your time exploring this island. Thank you for your time, architect. Investigator, can we discuss something of a delicate nature? Do you have something you want to tell the investigator? I don't know if this is relevant, but I will disclose it. At midnight, Witness was fiddling with his phone. Did you see what he was doing? I didn't. Midnight was when the council were murdered. We were in the middle of a conversation. He, he abruptly took out his phone and started using it. He was tapping at it for a few seconds. Did he step out of the room? No, why do you ask? That means he wasn't making a call, or if he was, it wasn't one that was answered. Did he say what it was about? No, he acted like nothing happened. Thank you, Architect. Okay, well, the puzzle pieces are coming together now, I guess. 
Uh, that presumably was the signal that activated um, the remote thingamajig. Either the sonic cannon device or uh, the remote activation of the um, obelisks. May the silent goat walk with you. And may you reach the moon. All right, let's go. I heard you're missing a ring, Yuri. Of what interest is that to you? Is it this one? Give me that. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. It's impolite to snatch. Want to tell me what it's doing on the fist of Kahax's dead body? I have no idea. He made it for me and I lost it. Someone probably found it and gave it to him, recognizing his work. Probably. Anything else you want to tell me? I don't know anything else, freak. Why did you shut the boat trips down early, Yuri? What business is that of yours? Just answer the question. It was part of shutting down the island, ready for the end. But why? It never normally happens, and none of the other systems will shut down prematurely. Don't question how I do my job, freak. I had some security worries and I shut it down. Did it have anything to do with a dead body at the bottom of the cliff? What dead body? I have no idea what you're talking about, but surely this is the jurisdiction of the marshals. You're supposed to be investigating the council murder. Well, it might be linked. Did you have anything to do with it? Definitely not, freak. A lot of bad coincidences, then. Must be. What do you know about the fourth holy seal? You mean the holy seal that Henry got through and then killed the council? Yes, that one. Who cares? That monster killed them. Let's get this show on the road. Well, that's, uh, abrupt. Got time to chat, Yuri? What do you want, freak? What kind of music do you like, Yuri? Good, a properly addressed question. Why do you want to know? I want to get to know you. Have you been drinking, freak? Shall I put you down for Dark Gabba, then? What is that? A subgenre of hardcore techno. Sounds terrible. It is. Enthralling. Goodbye, freak. Goodbye, Yuri. So what you like about Yuri, he is good he is easy to have short conversations with. May you see through a million eyes. And may you reach the moon. And away. Were you and Carmelina married twenty five years ago? No, we had fallen apart a few years before that. Why do you ask? Apparently she went into isolation for a year, about twenty five years ago. I remember that. I have no idea what she was doing. She likes to lose herself in her work. She said she was working on a project and didn't want to be disturbed. Was full isolation unusual? A little, but I didn't pay much attention. The Syndicate's fall from grace was a bigger concern. Why did she isolate herself? She has always built herself little hideaways in the islands, places she won't be disturbed. I don't know where it was. A god told me you went and carved off some flesh. What's up with that? Not your concern. I vehemently disagree. Fine. The islands die, and I want to know why. Demons come to us and rot our triumphs. Do gods attract them? Does keeping one on the island make demonic invasions more likely? Why carve his flesh? It seems like a sin. I needed to study it. You can feel the cosmos when you look at the flesh of one of our lords. He is linked to the stars. Is he a magnet? What did you find? Nothing. The holiness of a lord should never have been questioned. Can I verify this is true? I conducted the research in private. I don't like the sound of this, witness. What do you know about the fourth holy seal? Nothing, Lady Love Dies. It is one of the council's secrets. Well, that was unhelpful. I must warn you that I am not one for long conversations. What was it like growing up in the Chaos Palace? Character building! It's an insane network of twisting geometry. I did not see the outside world until I fled for the Syndicate with Ezequiel. I had no concept of time. It gave me a unique perspective on the world. Hey, it's just occurred to me, he's got symbols burnt into his skin, right? Are they different to the demonic symbols that demons burn into your skin when, when they do demon things inside you? They look different to the ones that Henry has. But it seems like a connection. Do you miss the Chaos Palace? I was constantly on the edge of insanity in that place. The dimensions and space within the hallowed halls forever twisted and reconfigured. I would pass gibbering wrecks of people as I went about my duties. 
The mind is a fragile thing, and nowhere tested that fragility more than Chaos Palace. What happened to it? It was sacked during the Great Betrayal. Humanity stepped out of the light of the gods and steeped itself in sin. Great monuments to our holy benefactors were torn down. The Chaos Palace was reduced to rubble and then used to build Alexander's cities. That palace should never exist again, but I despair at what we've lost. Sometimes I think we all live in our own Chaos Palaces. The gods can lead us out. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. May you fly with destroyed Eden. And may you reach the moon. You've already had treats. Whimper. You missed some pretty good parkour on that last one. Maybe I'll put it at the end after the credits. What do you know about the fourth holy seal? I don't think I know anything. No one does, do they? Fancy a drink? What is it this time, Sam? A special one would be appropriate, don't you think? I saved your glass. My glass? You remember, don't you? A glass perfect for carved ice ball, right? Oh, an item. You really do remember your guests, Sam. I must try, mustn't I? I have my own blend, night alone. A deep whiskey with complex flavours. The spice mixes with the orange and a hint of honeysuckle. It's meant to be savoured without being diluted. I hand carve the ice for each glass. Your glass has the perfect shape. Hmm. Another part of your craft? Everything you do is part of your craft, isn't it? I have been wearing down my knife over millennia. I sharpen it every morning so it can halve carve. I sharpen it every morning so that it may carve ice into sparkling diamonds. A knife perfect for killing? You haven't learned much about me, have you, investigator? Every tool has a place and a use. This knife was born for ice, not death. What's the most important ingredient in your blends? It's hard to say in a lot of craft, isn't it? Everything has a place and use, doesn't it? If you push me for an answer, it's my love for Lydia. You can relate, can't you? She's my partner in life and my respect for her gives me something to live up to. Hmm. I miss having that. Do you want to have a lover, LD? A lover and a partner. I miss Isaiah. The journey to perfection's a hard one. Loved ones are essential. We have similar outlooks, don't we? It's always a pleasure, LD. I'll be back. Worn glass. The glass loved eyes always used at Sam's bar before her exile. Sam saved it between each island. Hmm. May you always live in the shadow. May you reach the moon. Alright, well we learned some interesting things. I feel like we're finally closing out the the last handful of questions. Join me next time and we'll zip around and ask a few more people a few more questions, including uh, a whole bunch of questions directed at people who may or may not give me ways to go further. And then I think it will be time to try and get into the council chamber itself and maybe also solve some ghost problems. So I guess we've still got a lot on our plate. But that's going to be it from me today. Why don't you join me again next time for those things I just said. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, please like, subscribe and share. I also stream on Twitch and I now have a Discord server for stream scheduling. You can contribute to my existence on Ko-fi or Patreon and all of those links are in the video description. Thanks so much for watching.